Hi everyone, this is Deborah. This is for history buffs. Any of you all out there that are over uh, maybe 50 years old, you might know what I'm talking about. Those who don't, I would go and watch another one of my YouTube videos because you may not understand this. This is for people who were alive in the 60s, okay? Um, one of my relatives was captured in Russia. Yeah. He was flying a U-2 plane. And he was shot down. And his name was Francis Gary Powers. Now, he's my daddy's second cousin, I think. That's how it goes. Yeah. Now, he was flying that U-2 plane and he was taking pictures of Khrushchev's country, right? So, Francis was given a poison needle, and because I'm sure he was a Baptist, he was told if he gets captured, now this is the story I've been told. I could be wrong, okay? But there's many books written about him. You can read it yourself. But he didn't take the poison needle. I think when he parachuted out of the plane, which is in the movie, The Bridge of Spies. It's a really good movie, and you guys should definitely watch that. Really good with Tom Hanks. Um, yeah. So, when I was in college, I did a, the a thesis on Francis. Uh, yeah, I did a thesis on him. I read the whole trial transcript. And I saw recently there is a diary that he that he has while he was in prison. And um, I'm going to order the diary. I think it's $25 and then maybe $7 shipping, something like that. I'll put the link maybe tomorrow under my, under the description. So when I was in college, when I read the book, Francis has said he only lied about one thing in the trial. Can you guess what that was? Yeah. He had to let the, the Russians know um, that he wasn't sure about his altitude. He lied about that. And the reason why he did that is because he knew other U-2 planes were flying, doing the same thing he was. And he did not want them to be able to set their rockets to shoot them down. So he did not let them know the altitude of that plane. Now, when Francis finally got released, they traded two spies for one of ours. What does that tell you, right? So, um, yeah, two for one. Yeah, and his daddy came up. His daddy was a shoe repairman in Pound, Virginia. I remember my mom taking my shoes to Francis's dad and they would fix them for us. Cause back then you only got one pair of shoes, you know, that lasted you the whole year. So you definitely had to take care of your shoes or have them resold. So his dad, you know, wrote a letter and said, hey, this is my son. Why don't we just do some trades? Why don't we do some trades? Spy for spy. Actually, it's two spies for one. So Khrushchev went for this. Now, this was during Eisenhower and the Cold War. Um, so Francis was traded. The movie is just thrilling. Uh, the Bridges Spies. There's also one where, I think it was the Six Million Dollar Men. He actually did the movie about the U-2 plane and about Francis. So that is out there. Now, you probably have to get that under, I don't know, uh, a movie channel. Like, you have to order it. Probably on Amazon you can get it. But, yeah, and when Francis got out of prison, he came to my parents' farm in Winchester we owned 350 acres and Francis came to our house because we had no electron, we had no electronics, we had no electricity and he knew the, 
news people would never find our house. Half the time we couldn't find it, right? Uh, yeah, and I remember Francis wearing those ugly black boots, and I was like six years old. And I remember it was a lot of hoopla, because my mother always cleaned the house when we were getting guests. Uh, I remember my mother telling me that there was this big dinner for Francis, and she couldn't go because she just had all of her teeth removed. She was too embarrassed, but she sure wanted to go. But Francis wanted to go and wash his car at our creek. And I remember him washing his car on top of the concrete uh, road part where you could sit there and wash your car. And I remember going into the water and a lot of leeches uh, grabbed onto me. But back then, I was definitely a... Um, what is it called? A tomboy. Yeah. Nothing, not too much scared me. So, yeah. So, there is a museum in Fairfax, Virginia about Francis Gary Powers. Now, his son started that. That's Francis Gary Powers Jr. And you can also Facebook him. So, bye.